a high. It's Friday, and I just thought I'd throw a few comments up here that uh, I've been thinking about, and I'm just going to do a little off the top of my head here, so I don't know if I'm going to post this video or I'm just going to do a little BS session. What's the deal? You know, I'm been doing a lot of uh, research on this high fat, low carb, and some people just can't get their head around that <laughs> I I eat a lot of fat. I'm 80 percent. My diet is is fat. Maybe 15 percent protein, and the other five percent is a carb. So, but for me, it's it's seems to be working. I don't know if it's uh, in my DNA or something that it it works good. It do, uh, it doesn't give me uh, any uh, intestinal problems. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, I can't eat fat; it just tears me up." Well, I just few thoughts on that. Because I don't equate uh, fat and oil, two different things. You look at vegetable oil, seed oils, and everything, and only every time I ever got uh, uh, indigestion is when uh, when there was some vegetable oil or seed oil, canola oil, safflower oil, all that stuff. Uh, was in the food, and it seemed like that's when I would get uh, the acid reflux. Wake up in, in the middle of the night, just about ready to throw up. And uh, I always equated it well. It must have been the tomatoes, like in spaghetti sauce. Tomatoes, the acid in the tomatoes did me in. Well. I quizzed Rosalie on, you know, she put vegetable oil in the pot with the sp spaghetti noodles. You know, that's what they do. You know, keep them from sticking. You throw a bunch of uh, vegetable oil in there to keep them. Well, that spaghetti must have absorbed the oils, and that would do it. Or I'd make popcorn and use vegetable oil in the to pop my popcorn and then put a bunch of butter on it and everything and it would uh, give me indigestion. And I remember a few times <laughs> well, this, I wanted my popcorn and I did, we didn't have any vegetable oil to uh, pop it so I uh, put butter in there, and melted butter and popped my popcorn in butter and them days I didn't I didn't uh, have indigestion. I didn't have that acid reflux. And so my body can't handle uh, the uh, vegetable oil or whatever the, it's motor oil. I, I just consider, you c I can take a bottle of uh, vegetable oil, run out, put it in my diesel truck, crank it up and it'll run on that vegetable oil. Well, if I went out there and throw some bacon fat in there, all it would turn into is a gob of white stuff and it wouldn't run. So that's the way I feel. I know there's calories in, in fat and, you know, you light bacon grease on fire and it'll burn just like anything else. I can light my finger on fire and it'll burn. So I don't, I don't go with that uh, premise. So I just thought I'd there was a few other things that I wanted to do. You know, yesterday Rosalie throwed a big, nice big ham in the oven, and and I was on a, a kind of a 48-hour broth, uh, meat broth deal. She got. I was going to see if how long I could go without anything, and <laughs> long about. Seven o'clock. She walked in and says, "Have you ate today?" And I says, "Well, no. 
I'm kind of holding off to see how long I can go. And she says, no, you're not. You're going to have something to eat. It's not good for you. She's, she's one of those that you got to eat every little bit or it's not good for you. Well, it's good for me. So I had a couple cups of meat broth. And that was about 7 o'clock. And I was on a, well over 24, almost 30 hours on it. I went till uh, the next day till about 1.30. 1.30, I think, she took that ham out of the out of the oven. And I went and looked at it, and she was picking the big chunks of fat out of the pot, the pan, and I says, don't throw them away, don't throw them away, put them in this little bowl. So she put them in a little bowl and I cut off a chunk of meat to go with it. And I gobbled that down and that was, boy, it just killed my appetite, boy. Uh, I wasn't hungry and she had a chiropractor's appointment. So we went to the chiropractor and I thought, well, I ate pretty early broke my fast with a lot of that fat and uh, we got home and I thought well about five six o'clock we'll uh, we'll have something to eat and say that we had a two meal day instead of a one meal day well five six o'clock rolled around and seven o'clock rolled around and I, I, I didn't even think about it. And next thing I know, it was time to go to bed. It was 8.30, 9 o'clock, time to get ready to go to bed. And I hadn't ate. And I didn't even think about it. Uh, that trigger, you know, your hunger trigger in your head or whatever it is, uh, uh, wasn't triggered. And that got to me thinking about carbs and stuff, you know. I remember when I was not on this diet you know you get a bag of potato chips and uh, you know they say you can't eat just one well they're true I mean big food knows that the sugars and stuff in, in this food will trigger that little switch that says uh, you can't uh, turn it off I mean you just you just eat and eat you know, you open a bag of potato chips, next thing you know, you done ate the whole darn bag. And you've had 15,000 carbs. Where's it supposed to go? It goes right around your middle. And uh, I, uh, you just can't turn that darn thing off when you're eating carbs. That hunger, that hunger switch, I don't care how strong a person is if you're if that hunger switch is on that's survival and you're gonna you're gonna be eating right whether you need it or not because they can't turn that darn switch off and the white reason that your switch off is this is the society you're not satiated or something well I ate that little bit of uh, ham with uh, that fat man it just turned that switch off like it was just an on-off switch, and was it was it good for me? Well, a lot of people say no. You know, it's not good for you to just eat like that. Well, if it wasn't good for me, why did my body say, "Hey, you're done. You don't need no more." I went right up to bedtime, and I didn't even think about uh, eating or anything, and. Uh, that's why I'm going to call this, what's the deal? Everybody says that the fat, the animal fat, oh, you can't have animal fat. Heavens no, that'll kill you. Well, I was told I'd be dead in two months if I ate fat, animal fat, and no carbs, and ate meat. And, well, I guess I missed my, uh, my funeral because I'm still here and I'm feeling good. And I commented on another video that uh, the only way meat and animal fat is going to kill me is if a pot roast falls out of an airplane and hits me on the head because that's that's it because like I say I'm feeling like I'm 20 years younger the little fat roll around here is gone getting there it's a little bit still there I see but 
Not bad. Skin. Boy, the skin is feeling good. I don't know what. That's the oils. Your body can produce oils. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about. You know. How come people uh, 100 years ago, 150, 200, 1,000 years ago, never had skin cancer and everything, and they 99% of them people worked outdoors in the hot sun and everything, is because they ate enough fat in their diet that the oil, your own body oils, will protect your skin and everything. And, but we've got away from that, you know. We think that you got to take a pill or a cream or something to to do it instead of just letting your body naturally do it and that's what I'm this this is an all natural way to live I don't I if it's got more than two or three ingredients on the label I don't eat it and that's the truth it's meat salt and some vegetables and I have not fed I, even when I was on the Atkins diet I didn't feel this good because I was eating a bunch of Mm, salad dressings with my salad and everything that had high fructose corn syrup and everything and and I was eating a lot more than I am now and I was being and it was I was hungry I, I ate a lot more on my Atkins diet and but I was losing weight but it was different this is totally different way to lose weight than I've ever come across and so I just want to throw that out and what's the deal for I'm going to do these little Friday if I remember these little what's the deal Fridays you know I'm down another pound I'm 234 so it's going great but I just thought I'd throw this up there it's running about 12 minutes now so I don't want to go too long I just want to say shout out to uh, uh, some of the people that are watching my videos uh, I really enjoy. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Melanie Hine, Princess Ninja. Her her videos I really enjoy, and uh, if you, I'll, I put a couple of hers up on uh, my Facebook page, and down below in my subscriptions. If you go through them, you'll find her, and uh, she's uh, a good motivation person. So, other than that, that's just about what I wanted to put up today to just doing a little rant. <laughs> so I will see you for now. Thanks.